we are going to do implicit differentiation to solve for dy dx or for um, y prime in this question. Okay, so all right, sorry about that. Um, so I've got one, two, three, four different things I need to take the derivative of, and I'm going to take the derivative with respect to x on each one. So this would be the power rule, bring the power down, lower the power by one. And I took the derivative of x with respect to x, so I don't need to write that here. Um, this piece is probably the, the trickiest at first until you see it. But this is, uh, we got two things here. We got minus, and this is x times y. So we actually have to, if I want to take the derivative of that with respect to x, I have to use the product rule. So I could take the derivative of y with respect to x, and so that would be like the y is the variable, and then this is the constant. So if I lowered the power by one, this goes away and you just get the constant but I when I'm doing that I'm taking the derivative of y with respect to x so I either need to put dy dx or y prime and so that's me taking the derivative of this with respect to y and now I can take the derivative of this with respect to x so that would mean like the x is the variable and then this is the constant. So that would just be a plus a y. Okay, then I can take the derivative of this and I'm taking the derivative of y uh, with respect to x. So think of y as a variable, bring the power down, lower the power by one. But we need to say that we take the derivative of y with respect to x or y prime. And that equals the derivative of 7, which gives me 0. All right, so now we've got the calculus part behind us. Now we need to solve for y prime, the derivative of y. So let's take a step and distribute this negative. Let's subtract over anything that doesn't have y prime in it over to the left side. So if I subtract this over, this becomes negative 3x squared. If I add this over, this becomes a plus y. And finally, one more little algebra trick here. If this has a y prime and this has a y prime, we can factor it out as a GCF. And you might not see why I would want to do that at first. Um, but you but you should here in just a second because now I've got this times this so if I want to undo timesing by negative x plus y just divide both sides by negative x plus 2y and so then there we go y prime equals all of this stuff that would be our derivative of y